Many years ago, I visited the city of Atlanta. I had my hotel reservation and it was on a street called Peachtree. What could go wrong, right? Well, I picked up my rental car, hit the road and spent the next hour searching for my hotel. Why? Because as it turned out, everything seems to be called Peachtree in Atlanta. That was the first time that I realized how unreliable street names are when you're looking for a location. This is especially true in Puerto Rico. It seems like there's a Jose de Diego street in every town. And forget about finding places out in the country. <laughs> If you ask a local, he'll say something like, it's two hills over on the fourth street to the left, then you'll have to turn right at the big tree and you'll find it at the end of the road. Simple, right? <laughs> Not really. This sort of inaccuracy is probably the same anywhere in the world. Not just in Puerto Rico. It's just that addresses by their very nature aren't very precise. GPS coordinates are a lot better. GPS stands for Global Positioning System and it's a satellite-based radio navigation system owned by the United States government. GPS was originally created for military purposes, but today it's the traveler's best friend. You can get lost searching for a street address, but never with GPS. That's because every set of GPS coordinates is unique, and it points toward a specific point on the planet. Once you have the GPS coordinates, you'll arrive at your destination without a problem. Assuming, of course, that the GPS coordinates are correct, Most GPS units work in Puerto Rico, but your best bet is a smartphone with a GPS app. Why? Because GPS units require that you download the latest maps for the particular location that you'll be visiting. If you don't, they won't work. Smartphone applications will work every time because their creators update them constantly. I'm an iPhone user, so I gravitate towards the Apple Maps application. Not that there's anything wrong with Google Maps or with Waze, but I just like Apple Maps better. I also have a base that holds my iPhone under my rear view mirror. In fact, I have a second one for when I travel. I like it because it keeps my map at eye level and it doesn't force me to look down, which could lead to an accident. You can look it up on eBay. It's around $10. And that brings me to Puerto Rico by GPS. Anyone can write about pretty places and include pictures or even videos, but very few sites give you the exact GPS coordinates for every attraction. That's why the site is called Puerto Rico by GPS, because I want you to find each place quickly and easily. Some of my articles mention the coordinates within the article itself, but all of them include a map at the bottom with pins for every location covered. Just click on each pin and the first thing you'll see at the top will be the GPS coordinates. Just write them into your favorite GPS application and you'll go straight to that location every time. And if you own an Amazon Kindle or an Apple iPad with the Kindle app and you're planning to visit Old San Juan, order the Old San Juan Walking Tour for Kindle. It's packed with useful information about all the main attractions, including photos, detailed descriptions, and GPS coordinates. And hey, it's less than $5. And don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell, so you'll be notified every time we publish another short video.